Hello friends, this is Vasant Nayak from Vastek channel. Please subscribe to our channel. We will update latest information for you. Thank you. Hello students, welcome to Vastek channel. This is Vasant Nayak from Canada Engineering College. Today I am going to explain the 8th experiment of 18 CSL 48 syllabus of VTU for the 4th semester IS and CS students. Uh, the lab name is Microcontroller and Embedded System Lab. So the experiment, 8th uh, experiment is number of to find number of 1s and zeros in 2 consecutive memory locations that is to find out the number of 1s and zeros in 2 consecutive memory locations. So first, first we will see the program, this is the algorithm, anyway first we will see the program, here you can see uh, the uh, as usual every program starts with the TTL, TTL indicates a uh, uh, title, the title is number of 1s and uh, zeros and the area where the program is written the label given for that one is 8 and it contains code and it is mapped to read only memory. So it starts with entry, Pro uh, program starts with the entry or entry indicates the starting of the code. Now next uh, we will see now first uh, where the number is stored exactly. So here you can see we have taken two areas, uh, one is uh, uh, type of data and name is SRC in that we have stored two numbers. Uh, two numbers so that is 8 bit number define constant byte 8 bit number two 8 bit number and we are going to find out number of ones in these two memory locations these two consecutive memory locations we are going to find out number of ones in these two consecutive memory locations and second area is uh, the name of the area is uh, uh, data itself uh, sorry destination uh, dst and uh, yeah, it is it is meant for data and it is read, read write only so you can modify the value here but here we have taken two locations or labels or variables i can say one is uh, ones and the other one is zero both are type of uh, dcb defined constant byte that is also uh, it will reserve one byte of memory and initialized with the zero so this is the information about the uh, about uh, uh, declaration of a uh, data. Now next we will move to our program. First what, what we are doing here is I am going to load uh, the first number address in R0. I am going to load the first number address in uh, R0. Fine. Then I will take two registers uh, and what I will do is uh, I will make both register uh, 0. So this is the way you can make both register 0 that is exclusive or of uh, R5 and R5 and the result is stored in R5. If you whatever content in R5, if you do logical exclusive or with the same register, it becomes 0 and the output is stored in a register R5. Right? So similarly R6 also I will do same thing and uh, here so that uh, I, I can initialize R5 and R6 uh, 0. Other than that you can directly initialize the R5 and R6 also to 0. This is the other way. Next move R2 is equal to 2 because I have two locations and two numbers. Now move R1 is equal to 8 because I want to test uh, 8 bits uh, of a particular number. So for, uh, in my case first number is uh, 0, 1 first number is 0 1 0 1 means uh, actually it is in hexadecimal uh, it is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 so in first number how many bits are there 8 bits are there i have to take check 8 bits for that i am taking one counter this one second load ldr byte like uh, ldr byte means it will load the byte uh, from this location to this register R3. Now test R3, test R3 with 0, 1. What is this equation, uh, this one uh, instruction? Test is similar to AND operation, but AND operation will uh, modify the uh, original register, but test operation will not modify the original register, something. Uh, so I will explain you this one. Uh, let us take the number R3, suppose R3 we have 3, 4, 
R3, we have 3, 4. And test with the 0, 1. That means, let me write 3, 4. So suppose the instruction is a test. Test, I am using mouse, that is why I can't write clearly. Test 3, 4, 0, 1. What is the meaning of this one? Is let first uh, I will convert 3, 4 into binary. So, 3, 4 in binary is 0, 0, 1, 1, right? And 4 in binary is, uh, is uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, this I will test with the 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1. Now, 0, 0 ending 0, this one is 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 0. That means, that means all are zeros here. That time 0 flag will be activated. Now, branch equal, that is when the, the 0 flag is activated, 0 flag is activated, then what you have to do? Uh, jump to increment 0. Means, uh, see it is testing bit by bit here. See, this bit is 0. That is why, that is why this bit is 0. So, I got uh, answer is 0 and 0 flag is got activated. That is why I am checking here condition branch equal B E Q. B E Q means what? Uh, branch equal then increment 0, 0 section. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, Otherwise, suppose you think it is 1 here, then what you will get here? 1. That time 0 flag will not get activated. Otherwise, it, is, it means it is 1. That time you have to increment other register that holds 1. Increment the other register that holds 1. That is R6. Clear? Yes. So, now, now branch equal 0. So, it will come here. It will come here 0 and R5 will get incremented. That means, if it is 0, if it is 0, R5 will in, in get incremented. If it is 1, R6 will get incremented. R6 will get uh, incremented, right? Okay. Now, you have tested one bit. So, what is your next job? You have to test all the bits, right? So, I will use a logical shift, right? R3 by 1. So, take the number, suppose my number is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the number. Think, what is this number? Like 0, 0 this is 0 and uh, this one is uh, 8 to A, B. This is 0, B in hexadecimal. This is the number. First, I have tested uh, this number for uh, uh, 1 by using uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1. That is, uh, I have tested it whether the first is 1 uh, or not. In this case, the first bit is a, first bit is a 1 and you will get here answer is 1. That is, uh, it is not equal to 0. 0 flag will not be activated uh, and uh, one counter will uh, like uh, uh, R6 will get uh, incremented. Right? Now, I want to test the next bit. For that one, uh, for that one, what I have to do is, uh, I have to uh, left shift, uh, sorry, logical shift right, this one I have to shift by one bit. So, that time, this one will go out uh, and this one will occupy this place. That means, uh, and from here, uh, 0 will enter, from here, 0 will enter. That is, 0, 0, 0, 0, yeah, 0, 1. 0, 1. Now, it becomes like this. And once again, I will test it uh, for uh, uh, 1. So, before that, uh, I will subtract uh, R1 uh, my 1, because my R1 I have loaded uh, with the uh, 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 decimal number 8. That means, I want to test 8 bits, right? I just want to check whether 8 bit has been completed or not uh, in this process. So, for that, I have to subtract R1 by 1. If it is 0, uh, if it is 0, come out. Otherwise, uh, what do you do? You have to jump to 
the top uh, label top uh, jump to uh, if it is not equal then jump to top where it will uh, check for once again uh, check for uh, whether 1 or 0 by using test equation as uh, or instruction so uh, otherwise uh, it will come here and it will come here and uh, it will access the second bit second sorry second 8 bit number so second 8 bit number is uh, loaded and uh, uh, subtract r2 is r2 by 1 and compare r2 is equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 then once again process repeats so here let me repeat uh, so brand not equal it will uh, it will jump to uh, label top and it will uh, 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 keep on testing the number of bits uh, this one number of uh, bits that is till 8 bit is completed otherwise if it is over then it will go to the second number so second number to go to second number it will uh, increment the uh, base register by 1 we have to uh, we have taken two memory location it will go to second memory location meanwhile we have to check uh, whether all the numbers are over or not uh, for that you have to deduct one from r2 r2 contains now uh, the count of number of numbers we have so r2 you have to deduct one then compare r2 with zero if it is not equal zero then go to label up up and repeat otherwise uh, otherwise otherwise uh, you can see LDR R0 once. So, I am going to load uh, the address of uh, once uh, in R0 and whatever we have in R6 uh, that is we have stored number of ones in R6 that I will move to its address. Similarly, I am going to load uh, address of uh, zeros in R0 and uh, whatever we have in R5 register that is R5 volts number of zeros that I will move to R0. So, with this uh, it works. Uh, so, we will see now how, how the actual program works. Uh. Hello student, I have explained you the logic of the program. Now, we will see how it works exactly. So, I will open Keel version uh, 4. So, the software is uh, now the uh, Microvision 4 is open. So, I will close the existing project. Let me close the existing project. It is in debug mode. Let me close this one. Uh. So, you can see here uh, the program is already loaded and only thing is we have to test now the number of ones and the number of uh, zeros, right. So, you, uh, you should know R6, uh, R6 holds the number of, uh, let me write here, R6, uh, R6 let me write here for reference uh, R6, uh, sorry, R6 uh, volts uh, what is that r6 volts uh, the number of uh, ones and we have r5 u that holds number of zeros you have to remember that much r5 volts number of uh, zeros and our uh, original number is in this area okay let me start debugging session Yeah, we stop this debug session. This is a program. Let me start debug. It will go to evolution mode and this is the window. Uh, you can see register and uh, other content. I, I mean uh, the assembly window and uh, uh, code window and uh, command window and other than this memory window, right? Okay. So, now here I will give 0x6c you can see the number you can see our number here 0 and f this is the 0 and f is stored in this address 0 and f is stored in this address 0 1 and f this is the two number you are taking anyway so now you can you can go for step by step execution it takes long time uh, like uh, it takes so many iterations uh, 
uh, uh, here we have two 8 bit numbers it will take 16 iterations uh, better uh, let me execute the program once and you can see now r5 contains number of zeros r6 contains number of ones in two numbers here itself you can uh, see f means 1 1 1 1 and uh, this is 1 number of ones is 5 number of zeros is uh, in hexadecimal b same thing uh, uh, is stored in uh, uh, I mean say, uh, this uh, this information is stored in memory that also you can check. Uh, so, for that uh, let me check here see R5 R6 is stored in R0 address. Uh, what is R0 address? Uh, 4000. So, let me type here address 4 followed by 70 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 enter. Here you can see 5 that is first we are storing first we are storing number of uh, ones. After that in uh, next consecutive locations uh, we are storing number of uh, zeros this one number of uh, zeros. So, you can see here see number of ones and number of zeros clear. So, with this way uh, this program works. So, with this uh, I have completed all the eight experiments uh, of uh, uh, this one uh, micro uh, controller and embedded system laboratory that is all experiments are software experiments. Uh, in the next session you will see uh, the hardware experiments. Uh, if any feedback please uh, post it in the comment session. Thank you. Bye bye.